That camera's a little high. Let's angle you down. There we go. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, blah, 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 blah. I forgot my intro. Hey guys. Okay, here we go. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Hey guys, how you doing? So, I don't know if you guys remember when uh, The Walking Dead, they shot Negan's baseball bat, Demolition Ranch, Edwin Sarsky, I can't pronounce his name, I don't know how to. They shot wooden baseball bats, and I was like, I googled, well YouTube searched, what happens if you shoot a metal baseball bat? Couldn't find anything. I have a metal baseball bat. It's an Easton, and I think that's a better brand of baseball bat, so some of you guys might hate me for shooting this thing. But I want to see if it will stop a 9mm, well, a bunch of different, well, three different ammo types. I got 22, 9mm, and 357 with me today. And I want to see if this thing will stop any of them. And then at the very end, I want to shoot the very top of it. Because this isn't like a little plastic thing. So I want to see if it will just go inside of it and it will kind of funnel it down to the bottom. And I wonder if it will blow out the bottom. Well, uh, stop talking about it. Let's shoot it. So with shooting this thing, I'm actually kind of worried about ricochet because of how round it is and it feels like a pretty hard metal. So I'm actually going to shoot it laying down like that. That way, it, hopefully it'll go into my berm or into the dirt if there's a ricochet. Side note, my sister knocked her tooth out while playing softball because of a ricochet. Yeah, uh, her tooth is back. It's a fake one. She's still pretty though. But uh, alright, here we go. Alright, first up, 22 out of my SR-22. That didn't feel. Yep, I took one. All right, here we go. I hit it, and I heard the ricochet off my fence. So it's doing what I thought it was going to do. I'm actually going to change my berm up a little bit so I don't have any bullets flying too far that way. Okay, guys, uh, you can see I drilled that thing right there on the top of the tee. And it didn't go through. Left a pretty good dent, though. Uh, I've got high hopes for this uh, 9 mil. I changed my berm up a little bit so it's more under cover because I really don't want to send ricochets too far. Something else I didn't think about too much was uh, the 9 mil is important because I think it was a 9 mil that they tried to shoot Negan with. So the wooden baseball bat stopped it. Let's see if the one, aluminum one will. Glock 17. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get a really square shot so there's no ricochet. Can you guys tell what I did that was just really, really stupid? I have no ears. Uh, I haven't heard that in a while. That was really loud. <laughs> it wasn't too bad, but my ears are ringing. Saucy. Why didn't you guys tell me I didn't have earplugs on? That was so loud. Okay, the 9mm blew straight through that thing. So, I don't really think there's a reason to shoot the 357 at it. Like, at that angle. So, I'm just going to shoot the 357 at the front like that. Because I feel like the bottom of it, I don't know if that's full metal. Or if this is just like a plastic plug on the bottom. But we're going to find out right now. We're going to find out together. All right. So I think I'm going to take a shot at it like that at right about this distance. I think that'll give us the best chance at catching it and sending it down the baseball bat like a tube. Let's wear ear pro this time. I am not doing that again. Which pocket is it in? All right. 357 Magnum out of the Taurus 605. I think we got this. I jump a lot when I shoot this gun, so I anticipate my shot, so they're not the most accurate, but I'm pretty close. I think we're going to be able to get it. Oh, I did hit it. I was like, I didn't hit it. <laughs> Alright, you guys are going to get a kick out of this. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was fun. Okay. Yeah. So at first I was like, oh, I just totally missed that. But 
Let me see if you guys can tell. But there's a little hole in that rubber right there at my fingertip. It opened up and it closed right back up. But anyways, it did exactly what we needed it to. It went down the bat. I don't feel any bulges anywhere. So I think it, yeah, I don't feel anything. But it popped out right there at the bottom. It went down, Let's see if we can see sunlight from the nine mil through it. Yeah, there you guys go. That's what the inside of a Easton baseball bat looks like. Well guys, I wanna thank you again for watching today. Hope you kind of enjoyed watching me ruin, what I'm guessing was like a $50 baseball bat. But uh, I had a lot of fun. Uh, it'll stop at 22. Won't stop at 9 mil, and I guarantee it won't stop at 357 Magnum. Also, shout out to Brittany Fife. She made that intro you guys just saw. That's a new intro. Uh, she does great work. If you guys want any uh, graphic work done or animation work or any type of, uh, she makes music videos too. Hit her up. I'm going to put all of her info in the link below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.